Number one, the Bible says, In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, the first subject we're going to be dealing with, because it comes up multiple times, is this, this concept or the subject of repentance. There is a false doctrine about repentance that is plaguing churches in the United States of America today and all over the world. Amen. This isn't just here. There is a false concept and a false doctrine that teaches that the word itself, repent, there's, there's people are ignorant of what the word itself even means. The word repent, probably, oftentimes when you have problems like this, it's because words that don't use, that they're not used in regular, in our regular communication, regular vocabulary, you know, you don't use the word repent other than just in a church setting, right? That's the only time you usually ever hear or would use that word. And what people have done, they've taken the word repent. And if you ask the majority of, of Christians out there, what does the word repent mean? They're going to tell you, turn from your sins. That's going to be the answer they give you as a definition for repent. And that is a false definition. It's not true. That is simply untrue. I don't care what you've heard before. I don't care what you've believed before. The word alone, repent, does not mean to turn from your sins. Now, if that were true, there are many instances in the Old Testament where God repents. And if the definition is turn from your sin, then that means that God turned from his sin patently false. God doesn't have any sin. God has no sin to turn from. So obviously that cannot be the definition. And if you'd like, you could turn to Jonah chapter 3. I'm not going to preach an entire sermon on repentance. I've done it multiple times in the past because it's, it's worthy of an entire sermon. But we're going to turn quickly to Jonah chapter 3 because this is probably one of the most important verses on the subject if you're going to teach it real quickly and kind of easily and to get just to get the point across of what it means to turn from sin and that it's a really a works-based salvation. That if someone tells you you have to repent of your sins to be saved, that is a works-based salvation. Now, it's also important to understand that sometimes people use terminology and they use words without really thinking about the meaning and they don't actually mean that you have to have a works-based salvation in order to be saved. People just have a tendency to repeat things that they've heard over and over again and haven't given them much thought. However, I do think it's important to probe deeper if you have to ask somebody, well, what do you, what do you have to do to be saved? Oh, I re repent of your sins and believe in Jesus. Right? If someone gives me that answer, I'm going to ask questions a little bit further to see what's in their heart, to see what they really believe. Are they really trusting that you have to turn from all of your sins? Well, do I have to turn from all of my sins? What does it mean to turn from all of my sins? Because the way I understand turning from sins would mean that I'm doing sin. Well, I'm going to turn from that. If I turn from that, I'm not going to do it anymore. Makes sense. Now, is it a good thing to repent of your sins and to turn from your sins? Amen. I'm all for it. Yes, let's turn from our sins. Let's not sin anymore. That's why you hear so much preaching against sin at this church. That's why we preach the law. That's why we preach, hey, let's do what's right. But you know what that doesn't do? That doesn't save your soul. Turning from your sins does not save your soul. Jonah chapter 3, verse number 9 Look what the Bible says in Jonah chapter 3, verse number 9. Who can tell if God will turn and repent? So there's an example of God turning, repenting, right? He has no sin. The word repent doesn't mean turn from your sin. Now, it can be a turning. It's a turning. It's a changing. It's a, it's a rethinking. That is what the word repent means. You always have to get it in the context in order to understand just what the word itself, if you just see the word repent by itself, the only time you're going to have sin involved is if it's in the context of the verse. If the Bible said repent of your sins, then that's what it means. But if it just says repent and there's no mention of sin, it doesn't automatically have anything to do with sin. 
It's just a rethinking. If it, and li that's quite literally the definition is, you know, where the, where the root comes from of pent, if someone's pensive or in Spanish, pensar, it's the same root of, of being thoughtful, thinking, and rethinking again. That's what it is. Re is doing something again. Rethink, repent. That's what you're doing.